ಶರಣಾಗತದೀನಾ ಪರಿತ್ರಾಣಪರಾಯಣೆ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಹರೇ ದೇವಿ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ದ ಮದರ್ ಹು ರಿಡೀಮ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಫ್ಲಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸನ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ರೆಫ್ಯೂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಹಾರ್ ಐ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಹಾರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ನಾವು this is the quest we are thinking about mother and the significance of mother worship yes mother worship as i have discussed yesterday it is actually a great tradition uh coming down from the rig veda time in there are references of ri Amrin, sage Amrin, Rishi, she was a woman. And in the Rig, Rig Veda, Devi Shukta, we find a talking about, I am the welder of the world, I create this universe, I, like the Divine Mother is talking like that. The whole creation comes out of that Divine Shakti. So that is the major point. Brahman, or the absolute truth has no functionality it is beyond function beyond action when anything comes in action activity that is the play of the shakti we call the power we also use this word power is manifested in every particle there is some there is a solid it leaks it is it has no power as it were but you split and go down deep into and get into it and divide it divide it divide it divide it you get what as atomic power tremendous nuclear power where does it come from it is there everywhere is it not that is the shakti that is called the power power is hidden and power gets manifested and that power the cosmic power that is resounding why you can reduce it because we are only few people so the cosmic in the cosmic realm we find this whole the great universe is running on it is all manifestation of power the stars and galaxies the infinite expression in the whole cosmos whose power what power this is only the unfathomable expression of power the energy it is a tremendous power which is going on everywhere in the world and everyone adores the power power is always people love to respect the power and the greatest power is the power of manifesting the unmanifest that the science is doing as they have said they they they, they split the particle and particle and going out to higgs boson particle no and what is that what is tremendous energy they couldn't believe and our sages have understood that it is called in the microcosm that same energy in the micro and also in the macro in the macro if you look at that the bursting of the stars what an energy and you go to the micro that's also energy tremendous energy so the whole universe is charged with that energy whether it is manifested this is in material plane we are talking about the energy level and that mother is manifested in all the human aspirations actions thinking thought emotions that is the power and that power is called the matri shakti the mother power the divine power of the divine mother now hindus worship different aspects of the power of shakti in different forms so we see the mother form here on the wall that's called mother kali and now sri ramakrishna worshiped mother kali and 
In past also, there is a tradition of worshipping mother in this particular form, from past, long past. And we find that there are mystics who found that this is not a mythical picture, but it is a reality. And mother appeared to them, not as a force of terror, but mother is the expression of both good and bad. Everything is divine. In the creation, two things should be there. You cannot take one side only. You cannot take the light only and you ignore this darkness. You cannot say that. You cannot say that only there will be good and there will be not bad. You will take only one side of the coin and not accept the other side of the coin. That is not a coin at all. So in everything of our life, opposites, pairs of opposites, and these opposites are a contradiction in terms, as it were, to us. It is white is white, dark is dark. No, it is not that. Where there is the light, there is darkness. What is darkness? There is also light. In a deeper math scientific outlook, if we go, what is called darkness? That there is no darkness anywhere. It is only the wave, wave. How frequency of the wave, light wave, in which length, which state it is going on, is bright and dim, dimmer, 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 night. What is it? There is no light in the darkness. But is not there light? That is how the night owls and others they go for hunting and seeing. And what is the? There is no light. They don't see anything. Just jump on something. That means there is light. May not be to my frequency. I have a range. But they have their range. But light wave is there. Here is light wave. So what you call, it is the manifestation of the power. The whole universe, if we look at that, that is called the mother. That is called the power and the devotees, Shakta devotees, mother worshippers, they give this credit to the Divine Mother. And they worship that Divine Cosmic Power in some image, in some Pratima. They call Pratima. Anyhow, who is this Mother? We go, not for philosophical discussion today, we can go to the mystic aspect of Mother worship. And the mystics, those who have actually meditated upon, prayed to Mother, and in the, whose life mother appeared like you and me talking to each other. So divine power manifested in the form of the way the devotees praying and crying and weeping. And when it came to that realization, then how the mystics responded. Kamala Kanto, he, 17... He was born in 1773 in Kalna in Bhadwan. So he had studied the Sanskrit and then he, he was excellent in writing poetry and other things and he then was a, become a mother's, mother worshipper. And he used to feel the presence of the mother and he after his experience, what he expressed through the poems and sing songs, that his song says, you look at Mother Kali's form, it is dark. But is it dark? That was her question. But the dark mother, when she comes into the heart, she reveals all the darkness. She is dark. But her presence removes all darkness. Is she then dark? Who is Mother Kali? So she he sang a song. Shama ma ki amar kalo re Shama ma ki amar kalo Kalo rupi digambari Hridi paddo kore alo re Shamama ki amar kalo. It's all contradiction she's placing. 
She is Kalo Rupi Digambari. She is in black hue, but she has no clothing on her. Expressing what? Cloth. This cloth limits the person. She has no clothing means she is infinite. No cloth can cover her. So if infinite, what cloth you put about around the infinite? So that is the infinite mother. And when she comes into the heart, you thought it was black. It was dark. But she is the illuminer of all darkness and ignorance. Loke vale kali kalo amar monto vale na kalo re shama. People say, people say she looks bad, black, black mother, mother Kali, black Kali, black Madonna, so black Kali. So it is called the Kali black, but my mind does not say so. I don't experience mother in that way. Kakuno sheto, kakuno pito, kakuno nilo rohito re. Ami age nahi jani kemon jonuni bhabiye janmo gelo re sometimes she looks white sometimes she is black sometimes she is yellow or diverse color all color it is she appears in so many colors so i am now tired of thinking what is the color of mother what actually is she? The she that means she is unfathomable, she is infinite, she is absolute. So this is the idea comes all the time. But that absolute infinite comes down and appears before you in this divine form, which is called Mother Kali. And my his she he continues. Sometimes he is, looks like a male figure. Kakuno purusha, kakuno prakriti, or Sankhu philosophy. Sometimes he looks like the conscious entity behind everything. Sometimes he is the prakriti, the 24 cosmic principle. Sankhu philosophy says two principles are there. One is the purusha, another is the prakriti. What is prakriti? Purusha is the conscious aspect. Prakriti is the matter, material aspect. Like he given the example, matter and prakriti and purusha is given a simple example to understand what is that. The prakriti means matter. Matter is insentient. Matter cannot function. But some consciousness is needed to move that material object. But according to Shankha philosophy, that's why the whole universe is constituted with the Purusha and Prakriti. What is Purusha? The conscious item and Prakriti is that which is the material aspect. Matter cannot move unless you have some conscious. Your car is a matter. It does not move unless you sit there and start the engine and you can drive it in the way you like. And it is designed that way. So some conscious entity is necessary to drive your car. Of course, nowadays people say, we, are, no, we don't need any driver. <laughs> you don't need any driver does not mean anything. You have already planned all this design there inside the, where the human brain is working. And then to dictate that you need some conscious entity. The car will not just run in the street. Even if you can say that it is self-driving, no? You need not have to drive, you read some magazine and the car will take you everywhere. <laughs> but you have to say to the, the engine, hey, drive me there. Hey, Siri, what is this? <laughs> yes. You can say Siri tells everything. But Siri is a machine. It's a machine. But you have to say something to activate that. So matter is matter unless it is activated. These are all these bulbs and lights are wrong. It is all, all matter. Unless electricity is connected, it, it has no meaning, it has no existence. It is only a matter. So, 
Prakriti, the Shankha philosophy is the foundation of Vedanta. So it says there that there is whole universe, is 24 principles. 24 cosmic realities are there. What are the 24 cosmic realities? Who can say? Anyone? Five organs of perception, uh, five organs of action, uh, mind. Uh, okay, good. You come, come, good. <laughs> so five, you see, you look at you. You have a physical body. No? It's a dead body. Suppose a dead body and a living body. What are the things there? You see dead body? Look at the dead body. The five sense organs are there. Eyes, ear, nose, throat, and touch, skin. Huh? And five organs are there of activity. Head, feet, etc., etc. So five, five, ten. This five element, this body is built of what? The earth element. You eat something. Your body is sustained by what? Breathing. Your body is only you take calorie, hmm? energy, no? So it is made of five elements, Shiti, Aptej, Marud, Bom, that means air, water, fire, hmm? space, and what left? Shiti means earth. So this body or anything in the world is a constituted of these five gross elements, no? And this is enough, but not enough. But your mind also functions. So there are five subtle elements. What are? When you dream, you see what you have. You have all the eyes, ears, everything you have. Hand, feet also there. And there also you are breathing. There is oxygen. There is carbon dioxide. All this in the nature, no? So 20 means five organs of perception, five organs of action. Then five elements, material element through which you survive every day, the earth, air, fire, etc. And the subtle of these elements in the dream when you find, you dream, drink water in the dream, is it not? What is that water? This water? It's a subtle, it's called the subtle part of this water. You breathe, there also you are breathing in that dream body. But how do you dream? This year? No. This year the physical body is going through, but your dream, you sometimes feel suffocated in the dream, is it not? But for your physical body has no problem. So that's called the four, four, five subtle element, five gross element. So five times four, you got twenty. And four, another four. Just collect another four. <laughs> four are your mind, your mind is necessary, no? To function in the world, you need a mind. You need your intellect. You need your ego. Uh-huh. And you also need your what? No, mano I have told. Mano buddhi. Chitta. What is chitta? Memory. Without the memory, you cannot function in the world. Dementia people are a problem for the family as also for himself, no? Then the memory, you cannot recollect the memory, then you are gone. So these four plus these twenty is all are functioning. But by whose supply of energy they are functioning? Ramakrishna gave the example, suppose you are cooking and you have put in your pan the rice, potato, all these vegetables, water, and it is boiling. Ramakrishna said, the rice and potato is bubbling, boiling. And rice thinks, I am, bu- I am jumping. <laughs> potato thinks, I am jumping. As we think, I am talking. As I am saying, my hand is rising. I, I, I. <laughs> this I will be stopped. Just now something happens, stroke, boom. Hand does not lift. Oh, he has uh, fallen. His, or he is in comatic state, no? Oh, everything is gone in, in split second. If the connection, the purusha, the conscious part is taken out. Suppose in your oven you put everything and you see everything is boiling, no? And you touch the pan and you will, oh my God, my hand is burned by the pan. Pan did not burn your hand. Can the pan burn your hand? 
but the heat which is percolated in the pan and made two together, two, two things become one as it were, heat and pan, they become one. This matter plus consciousness, the consciousness is penetrated into the matter and matter appears to be conscious. As I am talking, you say matter, this tongue, these are all, you know, it's, it's all, all matter. Go to the medical science. Are not they matter? Your nervous system, they can, they, your uh, lungs, heart, all the arteries, these, they cut. Chip it here, push it here, stitch it here. So is it matter? Is it not matter? Is there any problem in understanding that? No? Anyone will deny this body is all matter? What? You agree or not? Yes. Is it matter or not? Yes. Yes. But how this matter is become so powerful, speaking, taking action, good, bad, what is the power behind? Some conscious entity is acting through it. So when that they call, but mother, the song says, sometimes I see mother, has the conscious entity behind. Sometimes I see all the material thing, air, water, fire, eyes, nose, tongue, all these things, whatever is available. Sorry, my hand has touched. Ah, see, consciousness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, everything what we see is a manifestation, but she is both. Here is the point. Kakono purusha, kakono prakriti, kakono shunna rupare. Sometimes Mother, the Divine Mother, is the conscious entity, acts like a conscious entity behind everything. Everything is dead without her presence. And again, the material you find, material world we live in, our own personal existence and the existence of this moving and non-moving things in the world, all plants, animals, everything is matter, but her consciousness has permeated. She is both the Purusha and the Prakriti. Sometimes she says, nothing. Buddhism says, nothing. Shunna Rupa. She has no form. She has no name. She is impossible by in your own mind and intellect cannot fathom it. Kakuno Shunna Rupare. Mair ibhavo bhaviya kamala kanto sahaje pagalo holore. He says kamala kanto, this mystic poet, a mystic uh, person who is trying to understand what is mother. She gets puzzled and he becomes, becomes mad to understand really what is mother then. Mother is this material world. Mother is this consciousness. Mother is sometimes void of any everything. What is mother? Sometimes she is white. Sometimes she is black. Sometimes she looks like smiling. Sometimes she is grave. Sometimes she is holding the sword. Sometimes she is blessing. What is this mother? So that means, what is mother? Now you understand. Either you say mother is everything. Whatever you say. That's why we chanted now. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Buddhi Rupena Sangastita Shanti Rupena Sangastita Trishna Rupena Sangastita eh? Lajja Rupena Sangastita O oh Mother, you exist in all human being in which so many ways as the intelligence of a person. Not your intelligence, it's the Mother's intelligence working through this frame of your body. So you become then off from this activity level. You get think that it is the supplier is mother. So think mother, see mother. See mother everywhere. That is the philosophy of this Shakta worship. That is the philosophy of also Vedanta, but they say Brahman and here it they call it is called mother. Hmm? Shakti. Shakti is the power, but Shakti is the support of all the material objects. And when you talk about the material object, there must be some entity behind this matter which gives the energy 
to function, to see, to work, to think, to react. Mm. Without that, this manifested universe cannot exist. And now we can find that, uh, so the song, I can read a beautiful translation, Samama Ardaumai, Black Mother. Some people say Kali is black, but my mind says she is not like that. Cosmic transparency, blackness, lights the lotus of this my heart. At times she appears white, at times she is yellow, blue or red, like the changing sky. At first I did not know mother's own nature. My life is passing away, confused in thought. At times she is Purusha, the subtle element, eh, the, the energy. At times she is the material universe. At times she is beyond conception. At times she is masculine. At times she is feminine. At times she is devoid of all forms. This idea has hunted Kamala Kanto till he has naturally become mad. So if you under, try to understand the Divine Mother, you will find that what is she? You cannot define. You can define, come to the point, what you can define? Who is mother? Define means you limit it, is it not? Anything you define, you limit it. You cannot, you cannot define the unlimited. How can you define the unlimited? Unlimited is unlimited. Defining is always making it little. You can define. Can you define? You can, certain things you cannot define. Your experience you cannot define. Suppose you had a good meal and someone asks, how good is, oh, how did you eat today, this meal? Wow, it's good. It's fantastic. It's so delicious. Okay. Does it mean anything? How delicious? What do you mean by delicious? What delicious? How much degree of it? And what is the measuring stick? You can define it. Your experience is something where you cannot describe. So this for little experience of sensitive experience. And when you go to the divine, that, that cosmic manifestation in the world, what can you think of? So this is the one idea. And that mother, another song is there. <coughs> I sang it yesterday, <coughs> but I have not gone through all these details of this. So, Ramakrishna is to worship this mother Kali, and mother, and then, and sometimes she used to sing this song also. Who is Kali? Sri Ramakrishna described her as Sakara, Akara, Nirakara. <laughs> Sometimes she is in the form of sakara, akara, some outline, just an outline of her presence gives the vision. And sometimes she is nira akara, no form. So here includes here all the philosophies come. Absolute non-dualism, qualified non-dualism and duality. She is yes, she is that. So, akar, akar, nirakar. He described her by singing this song. He says, Ke jane kali ke mon Sharo darshane na pai darshan Ke jane kali ke mon Ramakrishna used to sing this song and say, Who knows? This is Ram Prasad song. Ram Prasad, he worshipped mother and mother to his awakening, his understanding, he understood mother in this way. And Ramakrishna is to sing and go to Samadhi. So what he sings? Ke jane, who knows? Who knows what is the nature of mother Kali? Sado darshan, napai darshan, six systems of philosophy 
Indian philosophies. They try to understand what is called God, Brahman, Atman. Actually, they even fail to understand anything, experience what body, what is that mother. Take muladhare shahasare shada yogi kare manon. Who is mother? Everyone, mother worshippers, they want to meditate upon her in the base of the chakra, kundalini shakti, that's kundalini power. And Sahasrari and Muladhar and Sahasrari. In every plexus they try to think of the Divine Mother and ultimately here. Muladhari, Sahasrari and yogis meditate upon her all time at plexus of the base chakra and in the Sahasrari chakra in the head, crown. That means every chakra, all the visions and experiences that is mother's vision. That's it. You normally say, you know now, it's called the Kundalini power, awakening of Kundalini. Awakening of Kundalini is what? Awakening of Kundalini means that a different world opens up for you. Why people run for Kundalini, Jagaran and other practices? This universe you are seeing, you are in this plane of the lower three chakras. If, if you rise your consciousness into another chakra, you will see mother is different. You will see light, 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 everywhere. Ramakrishna said, mother in the form of light and light and light, everywhere it is nothing but light. She is described as the mind, as the mind moves in the higher chakras. Huh? And the revelation becomes all different, described by Ramakrishna. So here, this song says, the yogis, those who are yogis, they meditate upon her in the base chakra to the higher chakra. And in an every plane, and the result will be a vast experiential world will open up. And what is mother then? Whatever experience in the lowest chakra, to the chakra in the every plexus, to the heart chakra, to the heart chakra, to the third chakra, to your forehead chakra and this house sorrow where everything merges into absolute one. These are all hard domain from here to there. So it says, Taki uh, And what is she? She is Atmana Mer Atma. He is the Atman of the Atman. Atman means the self, this individual self. She is the self of the self. Atma Ramir, Atma Kali. And what is her, her, her existence? Then he ghate ghate viraj kare. He li- she lives in every heart. In every being, she is the substance for which this, this ghat, ghat means this body, the frame. Ghat means pot. Yeah. Every pot is jara. By her presence, everything is mobile. And every, everyone is seeing, thinking, think, uh, testing, touching, all the sense experience because of the presence of the Divine Mother. And Tini ghati ghati viraj karin, as she likes, icha mahir, icha jama, as is her will, it is her free will. Someone asked Ramakrishna, and if you say Mother is everything, why so much? unkindness and so much brutality in the world. What Ramakrishna said? Oh, it is mother's will. Eh? Mother's will. Somebody said, oh, it is mother's will. But we are suffering. (laughs) But Ramakrishna instantly said, watch, who are you? If everything is mother, where do you come from? Where you are putting your ego here? Everything is mother. Huh? That much you are accepting. And then you can, you know, whatever going on in mother's will, when I say, you say, why mother is doing this bad thing? You, why do you, your ego is coming where? Where is your position? You have no position at all. It is all mother. That means you surrender everything to Divine Mother. And, in, and actually it is the play of the Divine Mother going on, no? The whole 
universe is the play of the divine Shakti, is the play of Shakti. You see, bad people, good people fighting, it is a Shakti. Positive force, negative force. They are always in tussle, in, in each human mind. Look at the positive thought, negative thoughts. Uh, good intention, bad intentions. All are power. And this is all coming from the Divine Mother and its mother only. And it says that, that she resides in the heart of every being. Ghate ghate viraj kare. And in the womb of Mother, there is the entire, this whole cosmos. Hmm. She is such big, you will fathom her. She is such big, in her womb only, the whole galaxies and stars. Science has not yet been able to find, assess how many stars are there. How many new galaxies are coming out as they explore. Eh? And the Hubble telescope is catching more information every day. No? And this is all created by whom? It came out of void? Any ghost created this? You need to create one satellite. The whole human energy is going into that. How many scientists are working day and night? Oh, we are successful in landing on what? Now Mars. What a great success. Are you? Mars is what? It is only the neighboring one foot distance. You go to the cosmic existence of the galaxies and galaxies and, and how many galaxies trillions and trillions of galaxies what do you understand what do you understand with distance between them one star and the earth and us earth is a tiny dot of grain of sand in comparison to the big stars and the, how many are there how many galaxies how many milky ways who knows all these things and this is in the the song says it is in the womb of mother only. <laughs> How mother is big? Who will fathom that? So this is called, let's say Swami Vivekananda one time <coughs> was trying to describe having a, one big artist of Calcutta that time. He was his friend and he asked him, uh, you are an, an artist, can you draw a picture of Mother Kali? Oh then he said, Yes, I shall try. And then Swami Vivekananda started describing Mother Kali. Oh my God! <laughs> he said, we always like sweet mother. But this mother is also sometimes slaps and fights and gives yeah, and destroys. <laughs> in our, not in America. But we are born, you know, my mother also some lovingly should give some slap also. <laughs> But we, we, we did some naughty things, <laughs> that's why we get some. But we, are, we accept that, but in this country we will go to jail. Don't do that. <laughs> but, but this mother is also a chastising mother. Mother is also love. That is also love to make us pure. She gives little slaps so that we become better. So the whole plan, and he was giving the idea, what is Mother Kali? Not the good side only, but the terrible side of it. And when he was describing what is Mother Kali, the, the destructions dance, the stars are blotted out, the clouds are covering, dark, vibrant. And all there came a storm, and thousands of ghosts wrenching out the trees and throwing into the void. Terrible picture. And the artist after a few seconds said, Swami, I cannot take it anymore. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> to imagine that. Look at that. In the cosmos, what is happening? We are here thinking, oh, why this happened, that happened. Go to the cosmos. One full galaxy is going into black hole. What about that? <laughs> you think of mother, you think of yourself, you are intelligent, you know everything, you created everything. What talking about that? Is it in one pore? Now modern science is coming. In every pore of your is the eyebrow, millions and billions of bacteria are there. What do you think about that? Who is animating them? You are surviving yourself. You do not know what you are having in your body. 
Doctors are all puzzled if something wrong goes on. Or who designed it? We have advanced in science. It is all Hindu scholar. It is all Divine Mother. You don't understand. You will be uh, puzzled to understand this vastness, this, this infinite dimension of the reality. So, try to surrender. That's why there comes the question of knowing Ajay. My Rudori Brahmando Mahakal Jenechen Kalir Mormo Onno Keva Jane Temon Only Lord Shiva Mahakal So, so technically Shiva, but Kal means time. Mahakal means grand time. But there is no beginning and end, that timeless time. Only Mahakal that Shiva could understand when the creation came and this vastness has been coming in the in the manifestation and only one can understand if one becomes like Shiva. Mahakal Janachan Marma Panne Keva Janitamun Prasadvashe Loke Hase Shantarani Shindhu Tarun Prasad Ram Prasad says that people are smiling at me or, or just joking at me, seeing my condition. I could not fathom anything. I become mad almost to understand what is Mother Kali. And people, and as if Shantarani I, I have taken a task of understanding Mother like a fool who will start swimming in the ocean, to cross the ocean. That, is, uh, that much effort I am trying to do and seeing my effort, everyone is uh, criticizing me and smiling at my effort. But my mind has understood this, that she cannot be fathomed, she cannot be touched, she cannot be measured. Amar mon buje che pran buje na dorbe shoshi hoye vaman the, the Ram Prasad says, I am like a Bhaman. Bhaman means dwarf. One small dwarf with his little head, he wants to catch the moon as it is impossible. So I am like that dwarf person who is trying to understand with a little hand to catch how big is my mother, how to understand that. Huh? That's why what is mother? That's why Sri Ramakrishna is saying. That Sri Ramakrishna, after completing this song, after the Kali Sharuna, prayed to her to reveal the truth and how people follow different paths of spirituality. Then Ramakrishna said, Mother has revealed unto me what is there in all the religions. And what was her un- his understanding? Kali Brahmo Jene Marmo Dharma Dharma Sab Chedechi the Ram Prasad again sang this song. Now I understand Kali, Mother Kali, is that Brahman, which is timeless, spaceless, causeless. There is no reason and rhyme. This is the infinite expression. Whatever you find, it is only Mother, Mother, Mother. Kali is equal to Brahman. So what you worship in this limited form, you see it, but it is the same what is called Brahman. Marmo, understanding this inner significance, I have given up all my efforts. The secret of this Mother Kali, yes, it we find that it is unfolded to uh, Swami Vivekananda also. <coughs> you know the story of Swami Vivekananda? Swami Vivekananda was in great financial crisis. His father passed away. He was born a big, rich, uh, richest family of Calcutta. He was born in that and suddenly father died and then in, in, uh, all his neighboring or his, what you call the relatives, they took the advantage and said that your, your father, I have so much loan he has taken, etc., etc., and created false, false case and ousted them from home. He has no money to eat even, so it is going through tremendous crisis of hunger and thirst and, and, and for 
searching for a job, could not get anything. And all these are going on and mom and brother and sister, those who are dependent on, he was the elder brother. So all are fasting, not having a square meal even. So that was the crisis. At that time, he came to Ramakrishna. He said, sir, please do something for me. And Sri Ramakrishna said, you don't believe my mother. Because you are the you are the part of the Brahma movement. Brahma movement, that movement took the idea that these Hindus are worshipping all idols, clay. They are worshipping clay, made him clay image, a stone image, or metallic image. So these are matter. This is all fools. They have no science behind it. So that was the idea. And so Vivekananda, young Narayan, was trained in that science and he could not believe that the God, the infinite, can be in the image. It's a foolishness to stand before the photograph and say, oh, oh, give me love, give me devotion. What nonsense! Eh? To go to a Shiva Linga, which is made of a stone. Eh? I know that it is a stone. Someone has carved it and you put it, oh, Shiva, oh, Shiva. Well, what is this nonsense? It's fools! They don't know. But he has not the idea. We are not worshipping the stone, but we are worshipping the Lord, the cosmic consciousness. Or in the image of Mother Kali in the Dakshineshwar, where Ramakrishna worshipped and had the vision. This is image. That's why his brother monk, Brahmananda, whose picture is there, he was one day saluting before Ma Kali with Ramakrishna. And Naren saw from a distance. And he caught him. Hey, you have signed your name in the Brahmo group of people and you have taken an oath. You will not salute before any image. And you are doing that? Stone image and you are doing that? And he was scolding him right and left. So Ramakrishna came into <laughs> Ramakrishna came to his escape. Like, don't, don't. Okay, your spirit you keep. But he thinks something differently. Allow him to do like that. Anyhow. And now, but Noren never accepted this. This is a, this is a worship of stone worship or like that. Many people do, who don't understand Hindu uh, spiritual tradition, the Islam, they will think that it is uh, stone worship, image worship. So they are. <coughs> so Swami, when went to Ramakrishna, Ramakrishna said, "No, you don't do, uh, accept my mother." You live in the world of creation. Creation is mother's world. And you don't accept my mother. What can I do? So you go. You can go to ask for mother. Well, I have no. I don't understand you, your mother. I know you. You please do something for me. He said, no, no, no. Today is a good day. Tuesday or when Saturday. Good day. You go and ask mother. And mother will give you everything. So he has deep trust for mother. Sri Ramakrishna. So Noren went and prostrated before. To ask for what? Give me little money, little wealth, so that we can be square me. We have little good living. And he went, and he, as soon as he entered, he saw, it is not stone. It is not, it is not an image. But it is a living entity, tangible, breathing, as if a person standing there. And she is all effulgent, with her beauty and her grandeur. So she, he got so much overwhelmed, he, he started saying, Oh, Mother, <laughs> give me love, give me devotion. I don't want anything in the world. Give me love, give me devotion, give me wisdom. And he prayed and came back. No money, nothing. Nothing, no money. He could not say anything. Right. And Ramakrishna said, Hey, did you ask? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> then... Ramakrishna said, you forgot? You came for that only. And how can you forget? You fool, go again. Uh-huh. Again he tried, but this time also he saw the same Rhea ex- experience. And third time also, again Ramakrishna sent second time, third time he came back. And afterwards he said, uh, but how can I ask this petty thing to the mother of the Divine Mother, who is the mother of the co- whole cosmos? No? Can you go to a billionaire to ask for one dollar? Can you ask that? So it, it is too trifle to ask to the Divine Mother this little petty thing. 
Then Ramakrishna said, okay, by mother's grace, okay, you will have your square meal, some eh, normal living you will have your... But what can I do? In your fate, there is no luxurious life, what can I do? So you do not good food, you will not get good uh, luxurious life, but you know, anyhow you will survive. And then Ramakrishna taught him this song. And that was the greatest song he learned and he experienced that. It was so tuned to his experience, own experience. Ramakrishna saw, sang this song. Matangi Tara Amar Matangi Tara Dumitri Guno Dhara Parat Paramatangi Tara Oh Mother, you are Mother Tara, oh, Mother Kali is another name. Matangi Tara Dumitri Guno Dhara With the three Gunas, Shaktika quality, Rajas and Tamas. Controlling name, you have taken a form, three gunadhara, but you are parapara. You are beyond all the gunas, beyond all description, beyond all duality. And you are this, appearing like that, but in reality you are this. No? Like the ocean, Ramakrishna gave the example, why mother's color is black? This Ramakrishna said because she is, we see her at a distance. Like that you see when you have traveled, probably during night time, over the ocean. Have you any experience? You see the below, it is all pitch dark. Ocean looks like pitch dark. We go to India, naturally we fly sometimes night time over the ocean, and you feel it is pitch dark. Is the water pitch dark? You take the water in your hand. Is it pitch dark? But you are seeing. Are you not seeing pitch dark? So you see darkness because you are seeing from the high flight, 40,000 feet height, down to the surface of the ocean. This distance is making it look like that. So you are looking at the mother. It's a black hue. But is that mother Kali, the black? It is black because you are seeing from a distance. Come closer, you will see it is all light. There is the contradiction meet. From distance it appears that she is wearing a dark clothing, but you come close and your intimate experience when you touch that, you see it is all colorless or you can say bright, luminous, your yeah, bright and luminous and illuminating the whole universe. And then he sang that <coughs> Amijani Goma Din daya mui, tumi durga mete dukho hara ma tanghi tara. Oh mother, I know you, that, that you are dino mui, you are kind, you are very compassionate to anyone who takes refuge at your feet, dino mui. And tumi durga mete dukho hara, when someone falls in distress, you remove the suffering, you remove the pain and agonies of that person, like a mother takes care of the child. And where are you? To me, jale, to me, sthale, to me, adho, mule goma, to me, acho sarbo ghate, akho pute, shakar akar nira, karama, tanghi tara. Oh, mother, you are Mother Tara, you are in the water, to me jolly, you are in the earth, sthole, you are in the root of everything, Adda Mulegoma. Acho Sarbhakati, you are residing in every heart, Akkapute, in the every eyes, behind the vision, and you are in the form, Sakar, little frame of appearance, and also Nirakar without form, without color, without taste, without touch. So, and you are the redeemer of everyone. So that is the song. And Ramakrishna taught that song to Naren that day. And Naren whole night sang that song because it is his experience. 
So what is Mother Kali? Mother Kali is with form. At the same time, she is without form. Mother Kali is the embodiment of all the gunas, and at the same time, beyond all gunas. Mother Kali is seen in time, but she is timeless. He has a form, formless. Rupa, arupa, akara, nirakara. All contradiction. One side destruction, another side love and affection. So this is the all contradictions meet together. And that is the perfect knowledge. When you know God as love, there's one side. But God is also the other side. Then who is there? You have to bring another Satan. In the Christian theology and others, we have to bring another person to fight with God. But God is good, but there is a bad guy. Parallelly powerful like God, destroys God. But it is not so. It is the one appearing in this form or that form. So that is the resemblance, that is the divine form of mother means that. That's why you see the sword in hand, the head cut. That's the terrible side of destruction. Another side, boon and blessings. Another side, the creation, sustenance, maintenance, protection. So these are the two contradictory ideas which is the mother represents. So even whatever I am saying, she represents, it is also my words. It does not mean anything. So only one experience will come. You feel and understand in his deeper depth of samadhi, then uh, there is, that's why there is, I will end with this song. Time is up, no? Uh, there, is, there is a beautiful song. Nibiro adhare matur chamake o rupurasi Nibiro adhare matur Chamake o rupo rasi, tai yogi dhano dhari, hoye giri guhavasi. Beautiful song, na? Nibiru adhari, in the deepest darkness, there glows your light and effulgence gets manifested. Nibiru adhari, chamake. Chamaki means it's like a lightning and flash, flash of light. And that Chamaki, your Ruparas, your beauty, your 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 grandeur manifest in that way. Chamaki Tai Jogi. Because of that, all the yogis, then oh they start meditating. Hoyegiri Guhavasi. They take all the trouble to go to the cave in the Himalayas with all austerities to see this your beauty. Hmm? So this is the overall understanding. Intellectually we can, hearing this and that, we can link together to understand a little bit of the what is Mother. And we can come to this conclusion, she is unfathomable. She is beyond time, beyond space, as we describe in Vedanta. But it is a path of loving that absolute truth in the sweetest, in that form, is a wonderful spiritual journey. As we know, we are all children, we are children, we know when we are in difficulty we go to Ma. First word comes Ma, Ma, Ma. Huh? And we find there is some mother behind me, then I am free. Whatever trouble comes, when the baby is in the mother's lap, you know, baby is perfectly free. Have you ever heard the tension of a baby? baby? Hypertension? <laughs> Any baby suffers from hypertension? They don't. Because they, when they cry, they know that somebody, mom is there to take care. But we have hypertension. Our sugar, pressure medicine, we are, I am to take every day. Well, many of you may also join me in that line. But <laughs> point is that <laughs> But why tension? Why why that? Because we don't know there is a great protecting force as mother holding me behind. That's why 
Be like a child. Ramakrishna taught in this age. Be like a child. Worship the Divine Mother in the aspect of Mother. See Mother everywhere. Then you'll have no fear. Mother does not... Uh, of course we hear some bad mothers. I do not know they are mothers or not. But how the mother can do any harm to a child, no? A baby. Can anyone do? I think even the animal world does not do that. See, a baby, a bird, baby just coming out, see what, what affliction. The mother bird goes and brings the food and puts into the beak of that uh, baby, baby bird uh, and protecting with the wings and everything is done. Mother is, that mother is the mother, no? And that mother, if you know, we are protected by that. Then our tension, our troubles will come. But you know, there is somebody to handle that. I am not the person to handle everything. Let there be something who is capable of doing that most, most easily. And trust on that. That is the way we can think of the mother. Thank you all. Hmm? Anything more? Do you have any question? <laughs> Maharaj, I have two different questions. One is, uh, we say that in a philosophical way, what you were doing yesterday, um, in a philosophical way we say that um, the the Imagining a human form helps us concentrate our mind, and so there are different forms of the father figure and the child figure and so on in the Vaishnava tradition. And since yesterday we have been talking about the mother form, which is very dear to us. So the problem is that in with all the other in the Hindu traditions or in other traditions, you have a avatar, you have an incarnation, a humanoid whom you... Uh, there may have been a historical figure, so you like it. In case of Kali or in the mother, since you said that it has always been from... it has been from the Vedic times, um, is there any reason why we have... we do not have any particular uh, I mean, how did we come up with this? Or was it a particular reason? Is there a, I won't say historical, but is there a mythological reason for I this know, particular yeah, form? Yeah, no, I think it is, you know, it is, it appeared when they called upon Mother, mystics, when they do spiritual practice, in their, uh, it, it, Mother appears in that form. So which form? According to your taste and tendency, mother appears. Mm -hmm. Suppose uh, mom wears a dress uh, to please one child, to another dress for another child. So mother is a divine mother, is the same one, but she appears to the devotee according to the taste and tendency. Some is pleased with mother Durga's form with ten arms. Mm -hmm. and, but these are me, I am saying these are not like living people in the world. But they are, that's why it's called mythical, it is called... But it is mythical for us because we don't have any access to that. But those who have worshipped mother, mother appeared. And also, you know, Chundi and others, they, they describe differently that when there is yada, yada, dhanavatha, when the dhanavas and evil forces in the nature will arise, I will appear eh, to destroy the evil and to restore what is good. So that is the purpose in the whole Chondi. You will hear all the, all the chapters of Chondi talks about why Mother appeared in so many forms. There you will find, find the form of Rakta Bija, there Kusmanda, uh, the Navadurga, uh, the, 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 all these different forms of Mother has been mentioned. They appear, why? The need of the time. When uh, the gods were being attacked by the evil forces, then the Puranic stories say that. And then they want to have a solution of that problem. 
So they approached Brahma and Brahma then praised a Brahma Stuti, that's why we read Brahma Stuti. So they praised the ultimate Shakti and then Shakti appeared in the form of Mother and protected. How she appeared? To destroy the deities, <coughs> there are form, <coughs> Kali form, Durga form. And how the form was made? Mythical story says all the goddess gave their power. It's a mystic appearance, no? We extract the, the, the Indra gave the power uh, and other all gods, Indra, the fire god, the air god, all these gods, they gave their all the maximum powers and they generated a divine image and that's called Madurga. No? So these are different stories behind that in the Chandi you will find that. But why that form has come? To destroy the demonic tendencies. And also it is all meaningful. Demonic tendencies, demons in us. Mother appears. How? With the divine forces. All the gods and goddesses, their powers, positive forces. With that, mother generates in the heart. Appears in one particular form or the other. Depending what form will be suited to destroy the negativities in us. So that's why it is said, when... um, Rakta Bijo, eh? that's why mother, mother came in the form to swallow all the uh, drops of blood because every drop is creating another Bija. Meaning, every desire, you cut it, chop it. You thought that it is gone. But it falls into the ground again and it regenerates another desire, another desire. So you are not getting freed from bondage. So mother appeared in the form of Rakta Bija. Let's say form is given that one mouth is mother is terrible form of Rakta Bija. My mother is swallowing all the blood from the Asura's um, drops coming. So that no Asura Vritti can be grown again. Asura means demonic. Demonic tendency is one drop of blood is demonic tendency coming out and falling in the ground again creating another Asura, another demon. That means another terrible thing to make us live in the world of suffering and pain. So mother is taking that terrible form too. So these are all that way mystic experiences which came and also it is believed that when the trouble came for the uh, gods uh, and the whole good people so they prayed to mother and mother appeared and gave them the boon and appeared in different forms according to the need and tendency and test of their student who is praying. Maharaj, I can <coughs> defer my second question. It, does anyone else have any question? Anyone have any question? No? Um, in the story yeah, that it. you told... Um, because it's being desperated everywhere. In, in, the, in the story that you just told about when Kali drinks the blood, I heard part of that where she steps on Lord Shiva. Could you explain more about that? Oh, Lord Shiva steps on, that's a way of humanizing. These are, these are expressions of humanizing the divine. It is a spiritual meaning. We did it yesterday. If you look at that, Shiva is in the flat, lying in the floor, and uh, his complexion is snow white, and Mother is standing on the chest of that Shiva. So time, that is the concept that absolute truth is the Brahman. It has no action. It is beyond action, beyond feelings, beyond emotion, beyond creation, timeless, faceless, and it is eternal reality. There is not this universe is not there. Now, when that infinite reality wanted to manifest his own self in many ways, there comes the Shakti. And Mother is the Shakti coming from the chest of Shiva. That's why he's standing on the chest. In a mythical story is there, as soon as she stepped on her husband's chest, she felt shy and said, Oh my, what did I do? <gasps> like that. They said, put the tongue out. Eh? and press the teeth. But spiritual meaning is that she came out in this way and 
what she is teaching? Tongue. The control, self-control with the tongue. The knowledge with, with, with rationality control your sense tendencies. That's the symbol of that. And putting the felt in philosophical way, the Brahman manifested in the form of the Divine Mother, and that that's why she is putting her chest on this, uh, uh, put feet on the chest of the husband. So that is the way Brahman manifesting as Mahamaya, uh, and all duality to create, maintain, and sustain, destroy. These are the ideas given there. And black color is because at a distance we don't see her with close proximity. If you go to see her in the close proximity, you see it is the Brahman, it's nothing. So, okay. No? Oh, you, you again. <laughs> you know everything, but it's good. No, uh, this uh, is, uh, because you are, this is the first time we are talking on this motherhood as a series. So there are three or four um, images of uh, three candidates or images in my mind about the mother, mother or the womanness. One is this Vedic uh, Vedantic idea that Brahman is the inactive or Brahman is everything, knowledge. Uh, existence, knowledge, bliss. But that is not any quality. No. That is. That is. Uh, However, what we, Maya is also part of the Vedantic idea that what we see is the uh, is this Maya thingy, which is uh, which has two roles. One is to project, and uh, one is to cover the reality, and one is to project. The name Maya is a feminine in Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. So there is this, somehow there is this gender associated with my, in my, when I read about it, I think, oh yeah, there is a womanness mm -hmm. in this reflection. The second candidate is what you just not talked about. A God, in all the mythic mythologies, gods are being defeated with all these demons and then therefore they have to invoke this very strong mother figure who takes different forms, who takes different forms with Chamunda and, uh, as you said, Rakta Bija and, um, sorry, uh, whatever, that, that form. So that part is the strong mother and I can associate the, that with this, our own uh, dependence on mother. So it is a very popular way of relationship. The third candidate is also, we say in everything that whenever you are, that is the more earthly thing, that uh, the female or the woman uh, actually a gives birth to children and also is the is the cause for a lot of illusion and and some and it's a uh, male chauvinist it is not that yeah but it is no you will not say that it is delusion as like a mother mother wants the children should play that's why they bring many toys these toys you are talking for illusion for us yes yes temptation for us Yes. But that it is not in mother's side is temptation. In mother's side they are the children, they will play, let them play a little bit. Ramakrishna said that until the, they play and get exhausted and cry for mother, mother does not come. So she creates the baby and also wants that baby to play sometimes. That's why you want toy and another toy, another toy. In our life look at that. In our childhood we have one type of toys. When you went to grade school, we have some friends and other toys. Then you went to adulthood, then we have another toys. Then you go to, you see, in lifestyle, go move, move. Every time there is some one toy goes, another toy comes, another toy. This is the play. Mother wants to let you play. And when you say, I am tired with this play, Ma, please take me. My play is done. Some of you can on this poem read that. Then, then mother, mother is waiting. Mother only sees that when she, the child, because it is creation. So mother's desire, heart's desire is that, it is said, I do not know, but it's said that mother, every mother wants the, to listen the word ma, the children crying for ma, and that gives the joy. And she wants to embrace the child, but the child is, is just 
call, let call, oh ma, and then ma comes back. So this is the point. And mother's heart is everywhere. In you is also mother. In us also mother. The softness, the love, the affection, that is the motherhood. That means yam, devi, sarva, bhuti, so matri rupe, no? Does not mean in the male figure it is all zero and in the female figure only. No, it is everywhere. It is more manifested in the mother's, in the woman, and then less in men. But in some men figure also they are yeah. over flooded with love. So that you cannot make a distinction like that. So that's why the but one word you have said, feminine men, this is also in the duality. Vedanta says Maya and Tantra says Mahamaya. It's a sweeter term. Maya is as if delusion covering it's a negative aspect, little bit. Yes. But feminine and all the blame goes to the women. Women yes. are always yes. bad. And men are all good. No. Men are also tremendously bad. <coughs> so, and, uh, <coughs> so don't put the blame on anyone particularly. So it is called the Maya. Maya means its connotation is, is a delusive. It deludes our mind. Men does not do delude the women. Of course. Cheat. My God. How much bad things they do. So it is Maya also there. In the man, man also Maya. So take the spirit and that, that same force is called Mahamaya. Where the devotees say, oh she is Mahamaya, great mother, great delusion. Great delusion means great, great. She created this whole cosmos out of her own love she has created this. So Maya and Mahamaya. Maya is a connotation, ignorance, negativity and it is bad, bad, bad. But Mahamaya has a positive connotation. She is the Divine Mother, Mother of the Universe, my mother, I am also belong to her. So, this is a twist, Maya to Mahamaya. Thank you so much. Thank this you. toy idea takes away the gender thing. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Now, tell whatever tomorrow, 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 tell whatever tomorrow. Tell what you were told, 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 tell what you were told.